All right, we're going to do some uh, frame relay configuration. So I'm going to do that in GNS here. We're just going to make a simple network and uh, set up frame relay encapsulation over a serial between two of the routers. So we're going to go in and uh, drop two routers into our topology. And I'll move them up there. And we have to go into each and set up a serial interface card. So do that under slots. And then you can choose a WIC. I'm just going to do a simple WIC 1T, which is one, one serial port for me. And uh, that should be it. I'm going to just start them up. Boot it up in a second. All right. So what we'll have to do is we're starting fresh here, so I'll need to uh, create some IP addresses and such. So uh, we'll go into config mode and go into our interface that it just made, uh, the serial that I added. And um, now before I do that, uh, one thing that you'll have to turn on. Uh, it may already be on on yours if you're using Packet Tracer. It won't even be an option in there. But uh, you can go into Frame Relay Switching in Global Config Mode. That'll enable Frame Relay if it's not already. So do that first. Then we'll go into our interface. And I'm going to give it some sort of IP address. So we'll do uh, 10 dot this time. And we'll make it a slash 30, of course, because you know I like to do that. And we'll just no-shut that. Okay. So while we're in the interface, we have to set the encapsulation. So uh, we have to tell it to use frame relay. So we're going to do encapsulation, frame relay. And then I can either accept the defaults of uh, the Cisco type encapsulation, or I can use IETF standardized. Uh, we'll just accept the defaults and stick with the Cisco version to encapsulation frame relay. And what I'll do is uh, on one of these sides is going to be the DCE. So uh, I'm just going to tell it which interface is the DCE. So we'll make that router 3. So we're going to do frame relay. Interface type. DCE. And then I will uh, set a clock rate. Do 9600. And I'll do that over here as well. We'll do clock rate 9600. And we'll do. I don't even have to do that over here. It's fine. Bandwidth, uh, we'll say it's 1.5 meg. There we go. All right. Next thing we have to make our Delsi interface. So uh, what we have to do is just choose a, we're gonna just going to choose a Delsi number here. So we'll do frame relay, interface Delsi. And uh, you can have a whole bunch of different ones you can choose from. So we'll just make this 100 over here. And do the same over here. Remember, they're locally significant, so they don't have to match. But I have that luxury right now. So we'll just make it simple. And now we're in Delsi config mode. So you can see that the uh, prompt has changed. So it says dash Delsi. Uh, and we're going to make a map. So we're going to say frame Whoops. Just X out of that. Frame relay map. And do IP. And we're going to put in the IP of the other side. And say it's going to map to Delsi 100. And uh, another thing you can do is if you do a question mark after that, there's other options you can do. You can uh, do some compression 
you can retransmit broadcast traffic from one side to another because remember broadcast traffic stops once it hits a router so uh, you can get around that if you know you're running some sort of protocol that you have to transmit across a, a link and it's broadcast based uh, so we get out of here actually and we'll do frame relay map 10.0.0.1 and there you go that's the opposite on that side and then what we can do is show frame relay map and that'll show you your information of what you just configured there we go and I didn't turn on my interface over here which would probably be useful <laughs> there we go and now we have to just give it a little connection so we'll go from zero to zero check our interface there we go frame relay came up uh, there's some other show commands you can do as well you can do uh, show interfaces and then specify your interface and it'll tell you what kind of we've, we've shown this before with PPP but you know it'll say frame relay encapsulation is set give you your statistics and such what kind of LMI type I'm using, I'm using Cisco here what DELCs are involved this one's the DCE um, information like that uh, you can also do things like uh, show frame relay and then LMI information you can do PVC information tell you what uh, virtual circuits are in use you know is there any congestion in uh, data being sent uh, all sorts of things there's other ones too you can do like inverse ARP and that so there's a whole bunch of show frame relay commands for your diagnostics but uh, that's basically it for configuring it so we'll show run and I'll show you our setup here so basically I turned on frame relay and in serial 00, zero I gave it an IP I said encapsulation frame relay we gave it a clock rate this is my DCE so I did that told it the interface type was a DCE and uh, we gave it basically a map and a DELCI number and that's pretty much it same thing on the other side but just the opposite so should be able to ping dot two on the other side there and there we go so I just pinged from router 3 to router 4 over my frame relay connection and uh, that's really it uh, for that so what we'll do is we'll move on to uh, PPPoE next